Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey. I'm doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising sign of whoever needs it. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. So glad to have you. So apparently I had two dreams last night. So I'm going to start with dream one. Dream one was somebody um, in the dream. There was someone who had somebody in their life. So you still had somebody in your life, right? And it was like, but it's like hidden in a back door in your subconscious or this person is holding on to your energy. I feel like it's more so there's some back of closet in your brain, right? That is being like... I, you might not be aware of it, is basically what I'm trying to say. So basically, the dream was you opened the closet and this man, because it was a male energy, but it could be a female though, right? But in the dream, there was masculine. The, the closet was your closet. But this man had clothes like in the corner of the shelf, um, on the corner left-hand side, had some at the bottom of the floor and some on the other. So basically... This person was like stealing your energy, but trying to hide in your energy without stepping up to the plate. And it could be maybe they can't find you. Maybe this is somebody from your past that you let go of a long time ago. Or if this person just kind of, I just felt like they were lurking around, like they were trying to be slick. Like when a man, like say you're dating somebody, man or woman, you're dating somebody and you're like, it's strictly, we're just dating. We're just together, right? We're not like that. It's kind of an in and out guy. Thank you very much. Friends with benefits type of thing. But this person was trying to be slick and like, even though they were telling you like, yeah, that's all we are, right? They're planting clothes in your closet. So when a man shows up, He'll be like, oh, okay, you got somebody? You know, like this person was trying to like, so I want to look more into that because I'm trying to figure out, like, I feel like it might be something for some of you is something that's locked in the back of your brain. There's somebody that maybe you feel got away. And then some of you is somebody that's still hanging on to your energy. Like they don't want to let go. And you may not be anywhere near this person. They may be in a whole nother state, country. You know, you probably don't even know where they at. So I want to take a look at that. Sweet spirit. spirit, you got us on this. What's going on with this person in this closet? What's going on with my Sears? My little mango, my mango shoes. My little mango shoes. What's going on with my little mango shoes? What, why they don't, what's going on here? Let's get it. I'm going to try to get both of y'all, okay? Both groups. I'm going to try. So help me with little mango shoes. And thank y'all for your likes, shares, and comments. I appreciate you. I really do. Oh, and also, if you're new and you want more readings for your specific time, the information is in the description box below. I do personals as well, okay? So let's take a look here. Freedom, okay? Forgiveness. All right. So I feel like... Let me see. This song is playing. Let me see what this song is. Because that song is guiding me too. Okay, see somebody. Yo. Okay, so some of y'all. Somebody feels bad for what they've done to you. This is, listen, this is not the person you're thinking of. I, it's not. This is somebody who feels like you're the one that got away. You got to go back on this one before this one that you met this one. Okay. So this is somebody else. And maybe you really had a kinship with this person. They're really cool. They really, but I don't know. They just didn't show up or wasn't supposed to be for this lifetime or whatever. And then others of you, you got to get freedom from this person. They're still in the back of your mind somehow. They're still there. And it might be from, like, those of you who understand, it might be from a past life. But this person is still present. 
And I feel like like they were probably attractive. They were probably or or a lot of fun or or both. But some just didn't take off. And I don't know why. Or like I said, it could be a host of reasons. It could be because it just wasn't timing. It could be breath energy linger from a past life or some other life this person though i don't feel like this person got it together like you're doing good you met everything you were supposed to do so far on your journey but this person isn't even there like they i think they missed it entirely here i don't know if they're gonna catch it this lifetime so tell me more about uh, my folks that need to get this person out, out of their energy it's freedom this is an ex-lover. Let me pull out my love cards here. <clears throat> yeah, see, and I can't speak. This person never spoke their truth to you. I feel like this person, again, it's not the person you're thinking of. You got to go before that person. This could be maybe even a childhood sweetheart or something like that. Okay, but this person didn't speak their truth. This person really loved you, though. Like, you're the one that got away from this person. And they just don't, I don't think they even know how to find you at this point. You don't know how to find them. And this is not somebody like, I know some of you are like, I don't want to find them. This is not for you, honey. This reading is not for you. This is for a different group of folks, okay? And this is not somebody who ever hurt you physically or anything like that. Nothing crazy. This is more like you separated, you parted ways. Maybe you don't even know why. Um, maybe this person goes to you, just life got in the way or something. Tell me more about the freedom people. What's going on with the freedom people? Toxic relationship. Ooh, wee. Okay. So maybe this was toxic mentally, mentally and verbally. I don't think though this person tried to hurt you hurt you i really don't maybe someone it did but i don't think this is for y'all this is something more i feel like this is toxicity because it's still in the back of your mind and that type of what you thought was love is not really love it was the divine i'm hearing lust it was more of like attraction this person was fun. You were in love with the fantasy of being in love because this person couldn't offer you um, what you needed because you both were vibing in the same energy, 7.44 in the clock. So, yeah. So this, you need to get free from this. This needs to come out of your energy. You may even need the divine to help you with a... Um, a cord cutting or releasing or something. You need to release this energy. It's still there. It's like in the back of your mind. Because it's like, and I've done that. I've done that where just because, okay. So say you had a, a didn't have a father in your life and all the men in your life were like toxic, but you didn't realize they were because that's what you grew up and knew. So... And, and their toxicity could have been no communication, horrible with communication, right? Or they withdraw and they don't talk when they're down. They just leave, right? It could be like that. It could be a thing where you're like, wow, I really love this person so much. And, you know, we, I don't know why I didn't take off. And it hurt my heart that they're gone. But in actuality... They weren't really showing up anyway because they had their own toxic stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is still in the back of your mind. Okay. And yeah, and like, so, and this is for both groups. For, for others of you, you need to forgive yourself and let go of that energy. That energy is still lingering, lingering around, and you don't know it is though. So I, it, this is a brave thing to do, but I would, I'd be like, divine, bring this up, so I can completely release this. Let me see what this truly is. Now, some of y'all may not want to see this because if you're already in a connection, you're gonna end up letting go of that current connection, so you may not want to. But if you go ahead and do that. 
You'll make room for what's supposed to come into your life. Yeah, a breakup will happen because you're going to see things clearly. Man, that'd be the hardest stuff when the divine, every now and then, it's a good thing to do so that we don't get surprised. Every now and then, it's good to say to the divine, show me what is not of you or show me something that's in my life that needs to be removed that is toxic and i need to get rid of and let me tell you a lot of times when it comes up especially if you've never done it i've had this happen a few times at least twice where you just break down crying because like oh my gosh god i didn't know i didn't know i was being like that i know the last one i had was i was being really selfish and arrogant and i didn't know that i was being very don't take any offense. I'm calling myself out. I was being very American, very privileged. Things should be my way. I don't like this. I don't like that. Instead of saying, I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you for waking me up today that I can breathe. Right? I'm not saying that like some things you do need to look at and say, yeah, no, nah, that, that ain't it. That I shouldn't be doing that. Like, for example, a toxic job or working nine to five Monday through Friday. That ain't how we ain't supposed to, we ain't supposed to live like that, period. It took me a long time and I'm still trying to get that out of me. Because even though y'all see me here and I'm, I'm YouTubing full time and clients and all that stuff. I'm still like, I be working myself so hard some days. And I be like, yo, chill. Like, what are you doing? Like, this your schedule. You doing this. So, but it's hard. You got to get that out of you. So I go back to say this. There's something that you need to release and let go. And it's tied to a person of your past. Or some of y'all also, I'm hearing like somebody is parking themselves in your energy. So there is a third group of y'all where somebody is parking themselves in your energy. Again, this is, but this not the person you're thinking of. You have totally forgot about this person, but this person has not forgotten you. They're, they're stuck. They're locked. And I don't know if this person knows about energy or has been reaching out to people who do energy. I don't know. But I feel like this person still has romantic feelings for you. I feel like this person may even have some type of spiritual gifts. I don't know. It's just weird to me. I feel like the person, though, they never expressed how they felt. I don't know if this person also might be ill or something's going on. This is a different person, y'all. I know y'all thinking, oh, it's probably that person that's been... No, this is somebody different, y'all. This is an older per back from back. I saw it clearly, 1313 in my dream. So this person is parking themselves in your energy, but they're just a soulmate. And I think what I feel like, y'all, I feel like this person is from like a past life or something. Like they feel like something's incomplete. It could be this life and they're just not satisfied how things ended between the two of you. 1344 in the clock. And this person feels like they missed out on a lot because they're having some type of awakening to who they truly are. Yeah, I'm also getting that too. Somebody is combing back through the past of their, their past relationships and things of that nature. And they want to reach out to you. Yeah, they want to reach out. That's what it is. They want to reach out to you because they've gotten truth about themselves. I think this person, though, might be in trouble, like sick or something. They avoided you because they thought the grass was greener somewhere else. I'm also getting like this person may have been ashamed of the race that they were. So I definitely feel like they probably were. They I don't have to be other people. All types of people can be ashamed of their race. So that I don't feel like this person was white or anything. Or maybe they were. They, I feel like there's a difference in like maybe this person attracted to other races because they were insecure in who they are. 44 and o'clock. I know a lot of black men will do that. So this person could be maybe he's black. 
maybe he's something of that nature but there is something different like this person not different but they chose a different way because they thought things would be better if they went that way but now that they're having this awakening i'm telling you it always happens listen men if you're watching me women too if you're watching me and um you've never heard of this but a lot of people every time they go and i'm not downplaying other races i'm not i'm downplaying when you are not secure in yourself and you run to another race for a fetish or because you feel insecure and you think that you're going to have favor you're always going to end up back you're always going to feel you're going to feel like you're lacking you're going to be unhappy. You can put you, I'm telling you, it may the honeymoon period where it lasts even for a few years, but that sucker is going to come down because you can't build foundations like that. Five, five, five on the clock. You're taking a risk. You're rolling the dice when you do that. You're rolling the dice for problems with, and I've already, I hear it all the time, like on TikTok about these children who are now born. They got a black and white parent and they're going off because they're like, and this ain't me saying this. I just saw one girl not that long ago was talking about, I'm tired of y'all coming out here doing these fetishes because then we don't know where we fit in. You didn't raise us right. Y'all was trying to do, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Somebody do. So I'm not knocking that. But when you do it because you're ashamed of who you are, right? Or you think that, me okay instead of me healing well i'm just gonna go run and go be with this spanish chick because it's just easier and then the spanish chick is like oh because she's seen everything on tv about oh black men got bigger or whatever y'all know come on I'm, i get real in here i don't have time to be playing games i don't i'm gonna tell you the truth the truth is set the truth will set us all free up in here it don't work. And so I feel that energy with somebody here too. This person is now awakening to this. They're not satisfied. And now they're parking their behind in your energy. And they're realizing that you were somebody. Where was it? You were somebody that it, there was no happenstance that you came into their life. They may even see you or maybe spiritually somebody. I don't know how this person is doing this. But I don't know if they got a read on you about their past or a reader just happened to come and tell them about their past or what. And this person was playing you. They had their mind on something else the entire time. But now guess what? I've said this and I've said this ever since I was younger. I said, anybody that do you wrong... And you did nothing to them. I promise you, they always come back. Now, whether you want them or not, that's up to you. But I'm telling you, they always run back. Because you did nothing wrong. They're the ones that have made some crazy karma that they now got to deal with. And they realize, they get out in them streets and realize, oh, wow, this ain't what I thought it was. No, it's not. It's not. So I don't know who I'm talking to, but I definitely want to encourage you to do some soul searching. Ask the divine to bring this up and clear this out because clear this past. Because I feel like if you don't, this person can't hold you up from going further. They're going to keep like plopping in your energy. Like, no. What happens when you get a good partner? Some of you might even have a partner now and that's happening. But I'm telling you, if you have one now and you do what I asked you to do, you're going to end up breaking up. So you may not want to. I'm just being honest. This person may even be um, consuming a lot. Something's going on. Yeah, this person's not satisfied. This person's not satisfied. They cannot find satisfaction in relationships. They want to come back to you. They don't know where to find you. They don't know who you are. They know, Not who you are, but they don't know where you are. They know you've healed because they somehow, I'm telling you, this person's doing energy or something. Yeah, I just saw that card. Yeah. See, I don't know if, they, if this was an accidental reading, but never nothing's ever accidental. I feel like this person told them because they needed to have this spiritual awakening. The divine is helping them to also clear it. But I feel like you too have to cut that cord. 
this is like different. This is different. So I'm going to end it here. If you like this video, oh, let me get you some um, identifiers. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more like it, hit subscribe. But let's get into it. Let's find out who this person is. Okay. You may know their sign. I know you know that much. I know you do. You got close enough to know their birth date. And you may have known this person for a long time. Some of you, it is an Aquarius. Look at me right in the face. So let's see. Let's take a look here. Who's involved here? Sweet spirit. Who's involved here? And also, those of you who are new, I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I think I did. I do personal readings if you're interested, okay? So we've got a Sagittarius. Who may be doing this? Capricorn watching. A Pisces who may be doing this. A Cancer who may be doing this. Yep, Cancer again, double on the Cancer. An Aries who's maybe doing this. A Leo that's watching. A Cancer that's watching. There's lots and lots of Cancer here. There may be also a Virgo watching just keep going this person has been trying to yeah this person's trying to find you on social media they might know your social media some of you they do yeah some of you this person like they have addictions there's somebody single too but the divine is trying to help this person surrender this person wants to date you again. They do. They do. But I don't think, I honestly don't think they got you. I don't think they know y'all. The majority of you guys in this room, this person doesn't know you. And the rest of you, you have to release this energy. You could be hanging on to it. I feel like some of you are hanging on to it because you did have some type of connection with this person in a past previous lifetime. I really do. And this person still, like the two of you still are drawn together, but it's time for you to bring somebody else new in. The divine is bringing somebody else, two, two, two on the clock. It's time, that, that, it's time for that to end. I was thinking about that, you know, and it's funny because I was thinking about that today. I was working out and I was like, what happens when you want to, like, say you have a divine partner or a twin, and you want to continue those lifetimes and lifetimes with that person. There's some point in your life where you have to release that person to have new experiences. I really believe that. 22, 55 o'clock. But I think it sucks. Because it's like, but I still love this person. But it's time like, no. like I feel like sometimes the divine says, and you guys, y'all comment about this. This is what I, I'm feeling. I don't know this for sure. I didn't get this from the divine. This is just something that I was like, I know things have to evolve and grow. So I know at some point, even though you have this super, super strong connection with this person, at some point for you to experience other things, are you forced to keep going or are you allowed to continue that cycle? But then if you do that, other things can't evolve. So anyway, I guess if my, my mind be going sometimes 33 on the clock. Child, my mind be going 24-7. Ain't gonna lie. 24-7. All right, let's see who's involved in this situation. All right, we got Sagittarius involved. Sagittarius Aquarius are actually good partners too. At first, like if you're twins, it's a nightmare, but they are good partners. Main, very con uh, very uh, competitive. B, first, last, middle, initial. Somebody short, somebody, Sagittarius could be from Maine as well, but doesn't have to be. Somebody short with the initials B, they don't have to be B. A B, first, last, middle, you don't have to be short, but I do see that as well. Somebody short, somebody with the initials S, first, last, middle. Um, also S, um, you could be short, doesn't have to be. B, somebody is extremely angry. Why are they angry? Somebody mad. Oh, somebody, oh. Somebody's extremely angry and somebody's going to prison. That's a bonus. I feel like somebody's extremely angry. And maybe it's this person that you totally forgot about. They're going to jail. I did kind of feel that though. Like somebody is going to jail, prison. You don't even know this though. And they have nothing. I'm telling you, 
They have nothing to do with this situation. I know a lot of y'all been picking up money stolen, exes, divine partners. This is something entirely different. I'm telling you. I tell you, life is so man. All right, we've got. <coughs> excuse me. We've got a workaholic in the house. We've got somebody from Delaware. Hold on, y'all. My car is going all over the place. All right, somebody, there's a sham, shaman, Reiki, or Reiki healer involved here, or a healer. Virginia's here. Somebody's got no protection. If somebody's in Virginia, and please, if you don't believe in something, believe in something, okay? Because for some reason, that's pointing out to me you have no protection. Or this person could be from Virginia or Delaware, and they don't have any protection. And they're doing this type of work. All right, New Hampshire. Somebody's under investigation in New Hampshire. Okay, that's a bonus. Beautiful beginning, though, for somebody here. Once you release this beautiful beginning, Divine is saying you got to go around this person because I feel like this person doesn't want to, they want to hang on. They don't want to let go for whatever reason. That I, well, I know a reason. Who wouldn't want to hang on to you? Don't overthink it. The divine is saying just reach out to me, ask me to sever the connection, do your research about it, and don't just let anybody into your energy. See if the divine can do it for you during a dream state or learn how to do it yourself, okay? Hidden secrets. Yeah, there's something hidden here. Law enforcement? What the hell? Yeah, okay, somebody's in trouble. I don't know. That's a bonus for somebody. Somebody's in trouble because they didn't take the high road. K first, last, middle, initial. Puerto Rico. Somebody from Puerto Rico is involved. Protection from the angels is here. Someone else knows that somebody's doing this. Somebody's helping them do this. Why though? I think they're do I think they're doing it for fun. Somebody's helping them for fun. I'm telling you, I feel an energy of life. Somebody started doing the magic and said, hey, let's try this. You want to know this? Somebody, it was free. This was done for somebody free. They didn't pay for this. But the divine is also using it to heal that person and to stop this connection. They've got to get these people out of y'all energy because you're getting ready to go forward. H first, last, middle, initial. Washington. Alaska. Somebody that's agnostic. Divine says, wait on divine timing. If you're in an agnostic, there's something you're trying to do. Okay, somebody wants to do something. That's agnostic. And divine is saying, wait on divine timing. So that's a bonus for you. Some type of question you have. Montana, somebody that's quiet and shy. Minnesota, time is up. Yeah, divine's up. It's frozen. It's got to go. Z, first, last, middle, initial. Earth signs, so that could be a uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus person. Three to five people could be involved in this. Okay, so maybe they're working with a group. There's a Capricorn who's been doing this to you. Somebody from, from the Middle East could be a Capricorn. Somebody with a goatee also is involved. Somebody also could be an educator that's slim. All right, so I'm going to end it there. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, baby. If you want more, like and subscribe. This is where our journey ends. Thank you so much for allowing me on your journey. And definitely check out my channel down at the bottom, Ephemeral Journey. All types of different um, tips, things to help you with sleep. And there's going to be more coming. So subscribe because my daughter and I are going to be partner up, partnering up. We're going to be bringing natural products for you guys. Things to help you to fight different things, spells and just overall help. Health, helping you to be stronger, a better you, mentally, physically, all that. So thank you so much. I appreciate y'all patience. Peace, love, and harmony. My little mango, what I call you? Mango toes. Mango feet. Namaste.